Hey fellow travel junkie, we've arrived in the village of Hogsback, which is in the mountains uh, of the Eastern Cape. It's a very, very special place. Uh, we're here for some hiking, for some mountains, just for some scenery, there's waterfalls, there's some amazing hikes. The town itself gets its name from the mountain, which is up that away, you can't see it, it's covered in cloud at the moment. It's got a, a ridge which is in the shape of what the people who first got you thought resembled a hog's back, hence the name. We're going to enjoy this. There's, uh, there's pubs, there's forests, there's waterfalls, there's walks, there's a very, very unique and peaceful environment in this place. We have been here before, it's the second time but uh, we're going to experience it for two nights and we're going to take you through it. Enjoy! Arriving at our hotel for the night, well for the next two nights actually, the King's Lodge Hotel. We go through there and then up to the reception is up the top of the stairs. And the bar space. There's the dining room. I say it is old fashioned but got its share of character. Long hotel passage. Number four. All that you need. Bathroom, which is a bathroom. Everything you need. Hello. Hello. Are you neglecting your fire, eh? I just stoked it. Fire. Which has kind of been a bit neglected. King's Lodge has had a very distinguished visitor with his mode of transport. It's him leaving. He was here in 1999. Tabo Mbeki, ex president of South Africa. The place where we are now is called the Edge. Some most amazing views behind me. You can see why it's called the Edge. Very few people. Doing some self isolating walking in Hogsback. Look at that. That's the way to do it. If you happen to find yourself in Hogsback, I highly recommend that you take a bit of time to visit the Edge. Accommodation, a restaurant and just some amazing views. You can stay here, you can eat here. It's a very peaceful, tranquil setting. Walk through the labyrinth. Actually 600 meters, it's here behind me. If you walk every path you do 600 meters. A couple of those and you'll get your exercise for the day. It's a kind of slightly esoteric vibe here. Yeah? That may not appeal to all, but if it does, this is ideal for you. If it doesn't, just embrace it and accept it. In fact, the whole village of Hogsback has got that kind of atmosphere. We're going to have a beer at the restaurant at the edge. It's really, really cool restaurant. So we're going to have one quick beer and then continue our exploration of the village. That little church that we found just on the side of the road, it's called St. Patrick's on the Hill. It's really, really cool. A little stone building, totally open, beautiful gardens overlooking the view. I'll show you that just now. Really cool little place. Apparently it's not very new. It burnt down a few years ago and has been rebuilt. So what we're seeing is not the original church. It certainly is beautiful. I'm not a church going man, but with this view, I'm tempted. Have a look at that.
there's this insane waterfall behind me. It drops right down to the plain below. This is as close as you can get from here. So I'm going to get the drone out, do some drone footage. 